Hey, Lucy Ross here from ecommercemarketing.co.nz and welcome to installment two of our three-part video series on scaling up and growing your e-commerce business so you can make more profit. In video one, we talked about measurement and video two, now we're going to talk about how analyzing that data and optimizing your website can help you make more sales. Now a big issue for people who have built a website and they've gone out there and they're just not getting the sales is that they're spending money on marketing and they're not sure why it's not working. They're putting a lot of effort and staff hours and getting really frustrated that those sales aren't coming through and it's eating into their return on investment. So they end up really stressed out, putting a lot of time and effort into trying to fix things and they get really stuck as to what the next step should be in order to grow their business. Now what you want to make sure you do is convert more of the traffic that's coming to your website into customers by plugging up any holes on the website that might have you leaking customers. You want to make sure you get more return on investment from your current marketing budget so it's more profitable. And you want to make sure that your team's only focusing on things that will help you grow because as we know, time and resources can be limited in an e-commerce business or any business. So you want to focus on only making the changes that are going to help make you more money. Most business owners get this step wrong or skip it completely. They build a website, they start to make a few sales. And when they're not making as many sales as they'd like, they start to invest more money into things like SEO and social media and traffic. If you think of your website like a bucket with holes in it. When it's not converting enough of your customers, you can pour as much water into the top as you want, but if you're leaking customers out, you're never going to get the conversion rate that you expect until you start to work on what's happening on the site and fix up those problems so you can retain more customers and get more money from your current traffic. So now that you're tracking the right data from your measurement plan, which we talked about in video one, you need to start to look at that information and make changes on your website. So I want you to sit down with a pen and paper right now and just scroll down the things that are happening on your website. And I don't want you to make the mistake most business owners do, which is to go from their gut and what they think is happening. I want you to look at the Google Analytics data and look at your website and see what that tells you. Look at your website traffic. What's your bounce rate like? Is it very high? Are lots of people leaving your website without consuming your information? What traffic channels convert the best and make you the most sales? And which traffic channels aren't working? And what's causing that? Are there things that you could fix in order to get those converting better? What's your website like on a mobile phone? How long does it take for a page to load for someone on a mobile phone? And are there things that are slowing it down and need to get fixed? What are people searching for on your website and can they actually find them? What results are coming up? And do they click through to that product or simply leave? How many people are adding something to their cart, checking out and actually going through the checkout to the sale page? And what's your conversion rate? And how does that compare to previous years? Once you sit down and analyze this data, you can decide what things you need to optimize on your website in order to retain more of your customers. Now, a story of this going right is when I sat down with Carolyn to look at her website. She'd been tracking all the information on her website, but she didn't know how to go in and analyze it. So the team sat down and we worked out what was happening on the website and with her customers. And it turned out that on a desktop, her website had a really high conversion rate. So a lot of people were actually bringing up and booking and paying some money. But people on a mobile phone weren't. And it was simply because their website wasn't mobile friendly. And it was very hard for them to look at the address and look at their phone, the phone number and find out the information on a small screen. And we found by shrinking the website down and making it mobile friendly that their mobile traffic actually grew because there are more people searching on the go on their smartphones but the conversion rate on their mobile site just skyrocketed because people found it easy to take the next step and take action and make a booking. So you want to make sure you're looking at what the data is, is telling you or you might miss small things like that that make people leak off your site and drive them to the competition. So let me ask you this question. What kind of an impact would it have on your business if you were able to plug up all those holes that were leaking customers and make more sales from your current marketing budget? So now that you've got a list of things that you need to change in your website, it's time to go and assign them to your team and get them fixed. And if you need help with that, 
that's something we can help you with, then please contact us and have a free 10 minute chat to see if our services might be right for you. If not, I want you to sit down and figure out who on your team is going to perform each of these tasks and what changes you need made. Build a timeline and then build a checklist and just make sure all of them happen and revisit your Google Analytics account and your website in a month's time and just look at the difference in the conversion rate and what's happening on your website. If you have any questions, please ask them below in the comment box and if you like this video, please feel free to share it. This is Lucy Ross from ecommercemarketing.co.nz and I'll see you in video three about scaling up your traffic and growing things now that we've addressed your conversion rate. See you in the next video.